Hello, it's Linda here and I'm back again now with project number nine in my countdown to Christmas. So it's one of these nice faceted boxes. So you've got like these cheeky little sides here and I just think it's a really nice way of giving a gift. Um, so yeah, you've got this nice wide base here and then the box obviously tapers. Okay, so you could put some sweeties in there, lots of different gifts. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to stop waffling, uh, I'm going to put it to one side and I'm going to show you how you can put one together. So thanks very much for coming along and joining me here today. Okay, so what you need is a piece of cardstock which measures 12 inches by 9 and 7 eighths. And starting on the long side, you're going to score at 2 and a quarter inches. Then at five and three quarters, then at eight and at eleven and a half. And we're going to just turn it on its side. Okay, so I had a problem with my um, battery there, so I've already gone ahead and scored these, so I'm just going to go over them again. And just repeat them now for you. So turning your card, we did the long side, turning onto the short side, you're scoring at two and a quarter inches, at eight and a quarter, and at eight and a half inches. Okay. So now you're going to need a ruler and in these two narrower sections here all you're going to do is you're going to score from this corner here to this corner here on that second score line down. Okay. And then back down the other way. So we're going from the second score line down to this outer corner. Okay. And we're doing the same in this section here. going to just do now is bring my scoreboard back and all you need to do go at one and one eighth of an inch all the way down to where that point is there okay. and with this one you're looking for the six and seven eighths point and you're scoring again down to the center there of that Okay, so now we are ready to do some cutting. And just going to start by cutting a small wedge here, like that, and cutting this section here down to that second score line. Okay, so now we're going to snip down here to this second score line again, like that. And then we're just going to remove all of these sections up to that point there. So we've got one, where we've put these other um, score lines in now, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and the little skinny section there. Okay. And then we're just going to another wedge here and remove this little section. like that and then we're just cutting down each of these sections here okay so now we're ready just to do uh, some burnishing so I'm just going to start with this little section So with it 
lying like that looking at you. Now what you're going to do is fold on the diagonals that we scored and burnish. Okay. A little tricky. Okay, and then what we're going to do is where we made that centre score line there, just fold it in on itself and burnish it like that. And this one, just get the tip of your your bone folder like that, okay. So, just gonna lay that down and now I'm gonna look at adding some paper, okay, just to dress it. So, gonna start with this little section here. So I've cut this piece of um, paper at three and a quarter by one and a quarter inches. And I'm just going to grab my punch, my corner punch here and just round off two of the corners on the long side, okay. And I'm just going to round off these corners here, so just popping this in. That's those done. Just grab some Tombow and stick that down. So just to recap, this is three and a quarter inches by one and a quarter. Okay, so now I've got two larger pieces here and this is cut at three and three quarters by five and five eighths. So just going to let that set and look at these two little pieces here. Okay, so these pieces are two inches by two and three quarters. So I'm just going to take my ruler and on the short side, which measures two inches, I'm just going to make a mark with my pencil there at one inch. And the same with this one. Okay, and then just going to draw a line from this corner here up to that line that we just marked. So you end up with a triangle. I'll just cut that out. Right, so bringing that back in now, all you're going to do is stick these triangles in there like that. Okay, so just let those dry off. So while they are, I'm just going to put some double sided tape down here now. So I'm just going from this section here. Just 
bring that across. Okay, so now what you'll find is when you press those in, you can see that nice shape starting to form. So I'm just looking for the back seam now, which is that one. I didn't stick that down terribly well. Just have another go. Right, that's better. So that's my back seam. So I'm folding in these two pieces here and I'm going to bring this back section over. Okay, so I'm just going to run some double sided tape down here like that. going to put some tape again around these three edges. Okay, so there you go, it's coming together really nicely now. So I'm just going to finish off by punching some holes here. And so what I'm actually going to do is I've got a spare piece of um, red cardstock here to match this. Okay, um, I've also got my one eighth of an inch handheld punch. Okay, so I'm just going to punch a couple of holes. And then I'm just going to take my half inch circle punch and center it around that and around that one. Okay just to add a nice little decorative element here to this piece. So I want to work out now where I want my holes to go. So I'm just going to take a pencil and I'm going to kind of just do it by eye. So I think I'm going to mark a one there and roughly there. Okay. You know, if you want to use a ruler and be a little bit more precise than me, that's absolutely fine. So just use my one eighth of an inch circle punch again and I can't reiterate just how brilliant these handheld punches are for these sort of projects. They're just dead handy. So I've done that. So now I'm just folding that so you've got a nice little ledge here. And I'm just going to grab my, I'm going to grab a pen this time. I'm not too sure that the pencil will go all the way through very well. So I've got a very fine nibbed pen here and I'm just tracing that circle there and there. Okay. And take my punch again and just punch out those two circles. like that. And then I'm just going to take my Tombow, good old Tombow. So I'll just let those dry. I'm just going to do a little bit of stamping now and a little bit, oops, and a little bit more punching. Okay, so I've got some scrap pieces of card here. So I've decided to use um, a gift just for you, okay, which is a sentiment from Bring on the Presents. And I'm going to be stamping in real red ink. Just onto this piece of card. I've got glue everywhere again. There we go. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So I've got three punches here which I'm using. 
So the first one is, I, I'm going to punch out will be using my two and a quarter inch circle punch. Okay, so I'm going to punch out a piece of real red cardstock. Okay, so that's the two and a quarter inch which forms a nice little frame for the starburst punch. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just take a piece of old olive cardstock and punch that one. So you'll see that that nests in there quite nicely, like that. And then I've got here my one and three quarter inch circle punch and I'm just going to punch out my sentiment. Right. Like that. Okay. So taking my Tombow. Just going to pop that on there. Okay. And... Just gonna stick this one. Oh dear, what's happened there? <laughs> there we go. I'm just gonna stick that one in the centre there, like that. Move it around a little. Okay, so you've got a nice little topper which is going to go on the front of my gift box here. So before I do that, I'm just going to do it up. And for this one, I've chosen to use this um, real red mixed satin ribbon. Okay, so I'm just going to rub some of this glue away from my fingers. I think I've got to be the messiest person there is around when it comes to when it comes to this um, crafting lock. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop this through here. those sides in, bring this down, I'm just going to turn it away from myself. I'm just going to pop this onto the front. So for that, I'm just going to use a few dimensionals. And just pop that on the front. Do it at an angle. Okay, and there you have a lovely faceted gift box. Okay, just a little bit more interesting than your normal flat ones maybe. Okay, so you've got these lovely details here. I've also made another one. Okay, so I'm quite well prepared for Christmas this year. I've got boxes all over the place at the moment. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. That's project number nine in my countdown to Christmas. Um, been off sick for the last two weeks, so I do apologise. I'm all out of sync and I'm a little bit behind now. Um, but I will be back again very shortly with project number ten. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, thanks very much for joining me. And if you haven't already done so, I'd love you to subscribe to my blog, which is www.papercraftwithcrafty.co.uk. There you will find a link to my 24-hour online store where you can purchase any of the products that you see me use today and I will be putting a link to each of the products onto my blog. So that's it from me, thank you very much for joining me and I'll be back again shortly. Bye for now. <laughs>